Hello lovelies, thank you for joining me in another Timeless Pick a Card reading. So in this reading I'm going to focus on your career, what is coming next in your career, okay? So look at the different readings, choose the one or more than one that resonates with you and leave any messages that don't feel right for you, okay? So I'll see you in the readings. Hello group one, thanks for joining me. So I'm going to choose a card from the Butterfly Oracle deck first of all. Get some insight into what's next for you in your career. It's been a while since I've done one of these readings. Let's see what we've got. Changing your mind. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? So something that you've been doing in relation to work is not lighting your fire anymore or that you feel differently about it. You've basically changed your mind about it, haven't you? Let's see what we've got here. One of Rose's commitment. Okay, I'm going to get some more cards before I dive into that a bit further. So we've got the Nine of Hearts stability. I'm actually liking the energy that's coming through these cards, I have to say. It's feeling like... Um, a really positive vibe, you know, a positive influence that's coming in for you. I feel like things might have been a little bit uncertain for you for a little while or just feeling a bit a bit bumpy. Yeah, decide. So you've got a decision to make, haven't you? OK, I'm going to get a few more cards and then I'll dive into it. So I notice we've got two number ones there and there and then the number nine so that's brilliant for signifying some kind of an ending of something and with with the change card there that's no surprise is it and then you've got a beginning of coming in but for most of you I'm not sensing a huge change maybe for one or two of you we'll just see what the other cards say I think that for the majority of you, there is something, some aspect of your work that you don't feel the same way about anymore, for sure. So we've got four of hearts, emotional stability, nine, uh, queen, queen of hearts, I was going to say nine of hearts, queen of hearts, we've got nine of hearts there, haven't we? Um, carrying a sensitive, number six, the post box. Oh, look at that, another number one with number 10, the door. So that's your new beginning group one. And so six six the post box number 10 the door okay so let's just tune into spirit here and get a hold on the energy of this see what it is that's coming in for you okay so I said that for most of you I didn't see a huge big change but there are a few of you that there is going to be a huge big change for where I'm actually seeing you changing jobs altogether like not just changing jobs but actually changing what you're choosing to do I'm picking that up for just a small few of you and I'm getting the sense that if, if this relates to you that you already know that that's already on your mind okay so for anybody that doesn't resonate with that then this is some kind of change to do with what you're doing at the moment um, a change in the way you work it might be that if you're working for a company there have been or there's going to be some announcements especially with this commitment card here I feel like there could be some changes coming in in relation to the company that you work for maybe the way that things are done or something to do with the staff or they're changing your responsibilities a little bit but I am picking up for all of you that this is part of your sole contract what's coming in next for you okay it feels like a, one of those destined points if, if you like so with the emotional control card here and the nine of hearts stability there is a very similar energy with those two cards they're both giving me the impression that no matter what is going on with you at work, anything that's happening or any changes that are coming in, I feel like it's not knocking you off your feet. You are feeling quite grounded with what's going on, even if it's entailing some pretty big changes for you. I think that you are kind of seeing, it's either that you're seeing the higher perspective of it and you know that there's a reason behind it, there's a reason for everything, or it, you've just got to that point where, you know, nothing is throwing you off balance in relation to work and you are taking it in your stride. And with the, the Nine of Hearts card here, it's giving me this sense with because it's got the Eye of Horus and then there's this, um, it's at the St. George's Cross and it's got a pentacle in it. There's a, a very strong energy here of protection. So... 
I feel like you know this, you know, it's like you know that you're protected and you know that you're safe and uh, maybe you believe in a higher power or you're trusting spirit or you trust the company you work for or you're trusting yourself if you work for yourself. But I feel that you are maybe picking up something to do with this intuitively or it isn't a surprise to you something you know whatever the change is that's coming in and that's why you're handling it in a really uh mature way where it's not triggering you in any way you know or sending you off into uh, a spin of thoughts or anything like that you've got this sense that you are being watched over some of you are picking up on that I do feel you know maybe where you've got a bit of a connection with spirit or with you guys and you feel that everything is going to be all right no matter what is happening to you okay so let's have a look at these other cards with this changing your mind card here and then the decide card this is um bringing you to this point of deciding what's next so there is some kind of as I said there's some kind of change coming in at work now for those of you that are self-employed this is to do with you changing something that you've been doing for a while and you might want to branch out in a, a different direction or, or start a new project or try a new venture or you know just maybe even relocate offices something like that and for those of you that work for somebody, I feel that this is changes within your work environment or the company that you're working for. Now, there might be one or two of you what I'm picking up with this decide card that aren't too happy with the changes that are coming in. Or maybe it's the fact that they've just come in at the right time and it's kind of making you realise that you've been having thoughts for a while that you didn't really want to stay there or you didn't want to stay doing the, the role that you're doing and maybe it's time for a change for you, either changing your role within the same company, changing companies to do a similar role or, as I said, for a few of you, a complete big change, okay? So there is this um, point that you're going to come to where you need to really figure out, decide what it is that you're going to do, you know, decide what's in your best interests. Um, because I feel that this is a, it feels like there's a time limit on this for most of you, where if you're working for a company and there's some kind of change coming in, maybe you need to give some kind of consent to it or you need to make up your mind whether you're going to continue with it. Um, if you're working for yourself, I feel like there's an opportunity coming in that doesn't want to be missed. Not that I believe we ever miss the opportunities that are meant for us, but it means that you do need to make a decision as to what you're going to do next and think about the steps that you're going to take. OK, with this Queen of Hearts caring and sensitive card here, I'm getting the message from Spirit that this is about doing what is right for you and not going along with what other people are doing at work. If they're going along with something that you don't want to go along with, then don't. Um, or it could be um, spirits just saying there's a few of you that are overworking at the moment and this is just to take care of yourself. And maybe one of the changes that's coming in in relation to work for a few of you is the fact that you need to look at your work-life balance, okay, and get that because we've got with this stability card as, as well, that can sometimes indicate being unstable at the negative end of the energy. So if your work-life balance is, is out of kilter, then this could be an opportunity for you to look at that. Because if we look at the six postbox card here, this is to do with giving and receiving. And I get the sense that quite a few of you are putting in too many hours or you're giving too much of yourself to your job. And those of you that work for yourself, I think you, you are giving a little bit too much to everybody else and not enough to yourself. And so this is part of one of the changes that's coming in for you in your work is for you to get a better work-life balance, okay? So we've got three number one energies that are showing here in this reading, which are very positive for this new beginning, for this new start. So I feel like um, it, even if you stay at the same job or, or at the same company, it feels like there's a fresh energy coming in for you. There's some kind of revamping going on in relation to your work, regardless of, you know, whether it's self-employment or you're getting a new job or you're staying way out, whatever it is, there's definitely this, like, um, a wave of new energy that is coming in that is going to revitalize you a little bit with regards to work and I feel that for some of you it could give you a fresh perspective on things and for some of you it's going to um, bring in some changes to 
the way that you do things. And for others of you, it is this work life balance that needs to be addressed. OK, so I'm just going to get a few more cards to get a little bit more insight here. Get Some of these quick message cards. Spirit saying, though, just now while I'm suffering, spirit is saying, don't worry about anything that's going on with work. Please don't worry about any of it. It's all in hand. You've got helpers in the spirit realms that are sorting things out for you, you know, in the hidden realms that, that you aren't aware of. Maybe some of you are. So spirit's just saying we've got your back. So you've got to speak your truth, be fearless, blessed connection and focus. Those are interesting cards. OK, so speak your truth. The, with this being on the um, changing your mind card, I feel that for some of you, you might need to indicate to someone at work um, about, that you change, you, you've changed how you feel about something. Maybe you want a change in your role. Maybe there's something that isn't working properly for you. But there is this need for you to speak up. For those of you who are self-employed and there's some kind of a change coming in for work, I'm getting the sense here the spirit is saying, go, go through this alone, you know, talk to a trusted friend about what you're going through. If you're uncertain about what to do next or, you know, if you just want to bounce your ideas off somebody, then do that because spirit's saying that's really going to help you by speaking aloud the things that you're thinking. As you speak those words out, it will then help you to make more sense of them. If you ever experienced that group one, because I know I have quite a lot where I think about things, I bottle things up such a lot, they go around in my mind. And then it's not until I actually verbalize them that it all makes sense and I realize how I actually feel about something. So I'm getting the sense for some of you that spirit is saying, please do that voice what you're going through, okay? Because it will help it to become a lot clearer for you. I just had to check on little slow snowflake then. He's upstairs with me and all the others are outside. He's a special little boy, a snowflake. I haven't. I don't think I've told you on my channel yet. I don't know if I have. I can't remember. But he's the reincarnation of my childhood cat. Oh, and he's such a special little boy. So I brought him upstairs with me while I do the readings. He hasn't quite found his voice yet. Speaking of the Speak Your Truth card, he hasn't quite found his voice yet. And he was meowing, but no sound was coming out. Bless him. <laughs> he's OK, though. So with this Be Fearless card on top of the commitment card here, I feel that for those of you that are making some kind of a change, you're choosing to make some kind of a change in your job, um, whether you're going for a, a promotion or you know, taking on a different career, starting a new career, or maybe even branching out on your own, whatever changes you're making here, because it's on top of this commitment card, this is spirit saying to you, don't be afraid. You just go for it. You just go for whatever it is that feels right for you, group one. You follow what is in your heart. OK, be fearless. Don't be afraid. I don't sense much, much fear here, though, to be honest. I, I feel that that is more confirmation than anything else. And then with this blessed connection card here, this is coming out on top of the nine of hearts. The nine of hearts is a really lovely card. I think that relates to the nine of cups in the tarot. So there's a very positive feeling here. It could be in relation to someone that you work with or someone that you've met through your work, if you work for yourself, where, um, I mean, this could be the person that you could speak to when I mentioned about speaking your truth. Maybe this person is someone that you can sound, sound off your ideas to or talk about what you're going through at work or how you're feeling, because I feel that this person will be very supportive for you. And I am picking up the energy of this person that the connection you have with them is actually nice and balanced, you know. The give and take of it is really quite balanced um, and supportive where you support each other. So I feel that this is a very trusted companion or a trusted friend or a trusted co-worker, whatever you want to call them. OK, so that could be the person that you need to speak to. And then with this new door here on the end, and you, this has come with the 28 Decide. And then we've got the focus card here. So let me just ask Spirit what they want to say about that one. Okay, so for some of you wanting to make a really big change that entails a new beginning in your career, spirit saying, um, really get clear in your mind the direction that you want to go. It's not just about listening to your mind, it's about tapping into what your heart is telling you and then getting your thoughts in order and not letting things spin around your mind, but kind of try to get to a point where you are clear headed so that you can then make a decision. If you make a decision where 
you're feeling like you're not thinking clearly or you're just a little bit worried about something or you may be feeling a little bit emotional about something or you're wanting to rush through something none of those states of being are any good for making decisions okay and it's certainly not good for welcoming a new beginning or a new energy into your life so spirit saying focus focus your thoughts and focus your mind when you need to make any big decisions okay so i really hope that has helped you group one i'd love to hear from you in the comments and as always, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again. Hello, group two. Thank you for joining me in the reading. So I'm going to start by choosing a card from the Work Your Light deck to get some insight into what's next for your career. Okay. Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So your intuition has been giving you some nudges recently. What is it telling you? Have you been listening to it? Let's see what it's been telling you. Let's get some information. That's just fallen out, hasn't it? So what have we got here? 10, the light of the world, leaving, and number six, strength. Okay, move those across. So I'm going to get a few more cards to get some more insight. Crikey, do you know, it's so hot today in the UK. We've got a really hot week this week. It's been lovely because the weather turned after July and August wasn't all that wonderful. It's catching up now. We've got five of hearts, change of heart. That came out in the last reading. King of spades, warrior and intelligent. 14, the keyhole. And number five, the telephone. So what I'm seeing really strongly here are the number fives. You've got five, 14, I was up to five and five there. So five is this number of change and you've got the change of heart card as well. So Actually, I've just realised, I said that came out in the last reading, but it didn't. It was another card that was about changing your mind. Let's just tune in with spirit and see what the message is here. Right, so I'm getting the sense that for this group, a lot of you are light workers. Let me just get the kitten. Hang on, he's rubbing around the microphone. It might be making a noise got a little snowflake with me today. So yeah, I sense that this group, you are light workers or something like that, you know, something to do with the light, holding the light, bearing the light, working with the light, clearing the shadows to bring in the light. I think that this, in some way, this is quite relevant for you. I think that you're quite a spiritual group. And what I'm picking up is that you are very sensitive, you're an empath, and I feel that there's a situation going on for you at work at the moment that is not right for you at all and your intuition has been telling you this and I think that you know, you know, I think that you know and you've been uncertain what to do. Maybe you've been waiting for a sign. I get the feeling some of you might have been asking spirit for a sign or some guidance as to what to do and maybe that's why you're listening to this reading. So let's get stuck right into it. Now with what I'm seeing with the uh, King of Spades, the Scorpio, card here this is giving me the sense that you are very sensitive and I feel that there's something to do with work where or there's something that's holding you back in work because you're maybe a little bit afraid of what people are going to say or if they're going to judge you or criticize you how they're going to take it there's something in relation to that to do with you and your job so there may be some change that you're wanting to make I think with the change of heart card being next to that I think there's some kind of change and you're worried about how people are going to take it or well, spirit is saying it's not up to other people how you run your life and what you choose to do in your job okay it is entirely up to you group two I'm also picking up another message in relation to this card, though, that relates to some of you. I think there's somebody at work that is causing you problems because they know that you've got a very bright light. They know that you're a kind, compassionate and caring person. And I think that they are 
maybe they're insecure around you or they're afraid of your light. I think that they've got a lot of shadow in them, you know, they've got a lot of unhealed emotions and traumas and unhappy memories that nothing none of it has been dealt with you know so that when you're around them it's like you rub them up the wrong way even though you don't do anything to do that that's their reaction to your light and I feel for some of you this is causing you problems so spirit is saying to you what are you going to do about this situation? Are you going to let it stand and carry on? Are you going to speak to this person? Are you going to speak to a boss? Are you going to change jobs? What do you want to do? Okay. But th with this leaving card coming up here, I feel that this situation is moving out in some way for you. Okay. So how that manifests for each of you is going to be different. It may be that some of you do confront the person or you report them to HR or whatever department it is in your company, or you leave or you know, whatever. I think that circumstances will vary. So take what resonates for you. But this 14 key hold card that I'm, that I'm seeing there is to do with you looking at things from a different perspective to how you're seeing them now. And I feel that what I just mentioned about this person having a, a strong shadow, this is spirit kind of coming through saying, remember that this person is acting out because of what's going on inside of them and that they haven't dealt with. They've stuffed down a lot of stuff that they haven't dealt with. They've locked it away and now it's coming out in this way uh, to do with how they treat people and they tend to hone in on the people that have got a bright light, the kind people, the compassionate people, people who are po more positive than they are. Those are the ones that people like this will always target as a way to try to pull them down. It's really because they want your light. That's really what it boils down to because, you know, their shadow weighs heavily on them and they need more light to keep them going in their life, to keep them uplifted. So they try to take other people's light. But Spirit is saying, don't blame this person for being this way. They're not saying, so it's not saying to let them off the hook, but to remember that everybody behaves the way they do because of what they've got going on inside of them, you know. And you have to do what's right for you, group two, in this situation. So you need to think about your own health and well being and what is right for you and then pursue that course of action, okay? With the telephone card here, because we've got all these number fives, haven't we? And five is, as well as being connected with change, it's also to do with self-expression. So expressing yourself. So it could be that quite a few of you actually need to have an important conversation, as it says on the card important conversation okay so it could be with the person maybe for some of you it could be that you just need to speak to somebody about this you know get it off your chest and have a bit of a moan with someone maybe some of you need to go to a boss you know do what's right for you but spirit is saying that you do need to deal with this situation it's not going to go away on it on its own there is this energy of change coming in to do with work but it does need to be instigated by you first so group two if you just allow things to be as they are spirit saying it's not going to do anything it's not going to change anything it's just going to continue as it is so the the onus here is on you to actually bring some kind of a change into your workplace. With this number six strength card here, I'm getting a lot of messages through this card at the moment because first of all, I feel that this is some kind of a karmic um, situation that is playing out for you where your soul has wanted you to go through a certain lesson to learn certain things about dealing with people like this because you might have had to deal with people like this in the past I'm getting that for a lot of you already and so spirit is saying look at how you've dealt with these situations before and ask yourself if you always dealt with them in the best way because the reason that this is coming up for you again is because there's something else to be learned from the situation so maybe try a little bit of a different approach approach. For some of you though, I'm getting that with this card, this is about feeling really burdened by this situation at work and it's time to lighten your load. It's like you're carrying this mountain on your back and it's weighing you down and it's maybe been getting you down. So spirit is saying the time is coming now for you to do something about this, okay? I'm going to get a few more cards, some quick message cards, just to get a little bit more insight. So we've got be fearless, 
gift or compliment heading your way, feeling contented, time for a change, another change card, fantastic, be fearless on top of the intuition card there, yeah, spirit's saying that your intuition is guiding you as to what to do here, but you might be a little bit afraid of following what your intuition is doing, and that's okay, fear is okay, as long as you're not letting it control you, spirit's saying, don't be afraid to go after what it is that you want, and don't be afraid to do what is right for you, okay, as long as you're not hurting anybody else and creating any more karma then you know this situation as long as you're taking action to improve things and it is going to get better for you but please don't be afraid of following your heart and don't be afraid of stepping away and doing something that you know if other people don't want you to do it or they're judging you for doing it or whatever's going on whatever backstabbing gossiping energy is going on around you which often does in workplaces spirits just saying don't engage in it do your thing group two this gift or compliment heading your way this is over the light of the world card this is you being a very special soul group too, you know, you are kind and generous, you know how to get the best out of people, except those with a very heavy shadow that react in the worst ways, those are the people that come into our lives to teach us the biggest things about living, about life, about ourselves, about others, they, they help us to grow into stronger people, okay, but remember, don't let these people steal your light, because you are an amazing person being and you can do a lot of good in the world I'm actually getting the sense for some of you that you are thinking about pursuing some kind of work that involves helping other people in some way and spirit is saying yes 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 to this this is your path but you do need to do it in your own time you don't need to worry about rushing into it and spirit understands that it could be a big step for some of you so do take your time with that but if you do go into that if you do branch off into this new path that is helping others that is shining your light for others to find spirit saying there's a lot of abundance that is going to come your way if you do that okay and this leaving energy with the feeling contented card on top of it this i feel that this is the situation when it comes to an end it's going to be a big weight lifted off because i said that some of you might be feeling very weighed down by this situation like it's a big heavy burden but once you take action to make some kind of a change in relation to this it's going to help you to feel a whole lot better it's like you're going to get this massive sigh of relief and think yes wow thank you yes feel so much better now okay and then the time for a change this is about this change we've got two change cards here this is what I'm talking about here through the whole reading it is some kind of change that needs to take place you need to let go of this mountain that you are carrying and it is time to put this karmic cycle that you have been going through, it's time to bring that to a close, okay, and to open up to something better, because the number six energy, it's also got some very positive sim symbolism to it as well, it brings in unconditional love, and creativity, and the intuition, and I feel that the situation that you've been going through with this person at work has been stifling you, and stifling all those positive energy okay so as you clear this situation from your life then that will open you up in a new way which will help you to feel a lot more aligned okay group two i really hope that has helped you thank you for listening leave me a comment i love to hear from you hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you again Hello group three, thank you for joining me. So I'm going to choose a card to begin with from the Butterfly Oracle deck to get a sense of what is going on with your career, what's coming in next. Oh look at that, we've got get some rest, that's quite a clear message isn't it? Let's get some cards or a card from the Star Tarot, not the Star Tarot, Tarot of Light. Queen of Trees Nurturer, oh there are some similar energies here. Let's get one of these Akashic Tarot cards and then I'll get one of mine. We've got four of scro scrolls, the Karmic Trench, and one more. Four of 
44 cycles. Look at that, you've got four and 44. Okay, so I'm going to get a few more cards. So there is a very strong message coming through here about a work-life balance, about you working too hard, not getting enough rest, not getting enough time off for yourself, doing too much at work, giving too much to people. And I feel that this has been a repetitive cycle for you. It's something that you've been learning throughout your life. Look at that. We've got two aces, ace of hearts, emerging love and ace of diamonds, awakening. Yeah, I feel that this is like a, a lifelong lesson that you've been going through on and off throughout your working life where you are a really good worker, no matter whether you work for yourself or somebody else, you put in the hours, you put in the effort, you, you take pride in what you do, you know, and you give it your all but there comes a point when you just have to give something back to yourself so we've got number six the post box look at that give and receive out of balance over giving exactly what I've just been saying goodness me lovely confirmation and then we've got 31 which adds up to another four the flat tire, which is all about feeling very deflated, having a lack of motivation or enthusiasm. Now, when you feel that way about your job, even if it's a job that you actually enjoy, when you get to that point where, you, where you're like, oh, I can't be bothered to do this. I really don't want to do this. You know, when you get to that point, do you know why that is? It's because you are burnt out and you need a break. Now, if you work for yourself, or you work from home, it can be really difficult to switch off from work. I can totally relate to that. <laughs> you know, I'm not very good at switching off myself. So I sympathize with anybody that is like that. I'm always thinking about work. It's because, you know, especially when you love what you do, it can be really hard to switch off. You know, the mind is always going, thinking up new ideas, whatever you want to do next. But you know, regardless of whether you work for yourself or whether you work for somebody else, there is some kind of positive change that needs to come in here for you, Group 3, and you are the one that needs to make this positive change, okay? This has been an ongoing, long cycle for you that is one of your life lessons. It's in your soul's contract, okay? It's something that you came here to experience, to learn to balance, because you are this giver, you like to help, you like to do your best at everything you do. And there is nothing wrong with that, as long as you are balancing it with other things in your life. So this is what is lacking at the moment is this work life balance for you, group three. And spirit is saying with the with the reading, what's coming next in your career, what is coming next is some kind of a rest. So this is going to manifest a little bit differently for each of you. OK. For some of you, it's going to mean going on holiday. For some of you, it could mean a staycation. For some of you, it could just mean actually having some strong boundaries with yourself where you actually switch off from work. You don't bring it home with you. You don't think about it in your spare time and you give yourself a proper break from it. And for others of you, it's time for you to have a look at your behaviour, really, you know, what, how much you're giving, the fact that you're over giving, you're doing too much, you're working too hard. Why are you doing that? I mean, does anybody ever get to their deathbed and say, goodness me, I wish I'd worked more? Nobody does, do they? Nobody says that. <laughs> Everybody says, I wish I'd worked less. So this is an important message for you, group three. Now, Spirit is just drawing my attention to these two lovely ace cards here because this is a wonderful new energy that wants to come in. Spirit is saying this new beginning here is going to invigorate you with new energy and new ideas and realizations, new ways to do things. Um, for some of you, new projects, you know, it, it's just, it's like a, 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 ball of lightning with lots of sparkles that I'm seeing that just wants to roll into your life and explode within you and invigorate you with this new beginning, this new energy. But spirit saying there is no way that can happen at the moment in your current state of being group three because you are exhausted. You are empty. You're running on empty. You're emotionally spent. Your mind needs a break from thinking. Your body just needs to do something else to chill out. 
you need to find some things to do that aren't connected with work and that will actually take your mind off your job. And when you do this, this is when you will get hit with this wonderful ball of lightning and golden sparkles that will bring in some new ideas for you. Um, Because at the moment, I feel that there might be one or two things that you aren't seeing particularly clearly in relation to work. And Spirit's saying you need this space, this time and this space so that you, your mind can clear um, so that you can actually uh, tune into the truth of something or see it more clearly. Maybe some of you have been trying to work something out or you've got a problem that you're facing that you haven't been able to find a solution for. And Spirit's saying again, you just need to take a step back from all of this and the answers will come, okay? The answers are just waiting to come. I think, well, when you see, you've got some more of these cards. So Spirit's saying the importance of switching off, taking a break, stepping back, going on holiday. That is the key message for the group, this group listening to this reading, okay? Because what you're doing at the moment, it isn't doing you any favours. You're not getting yourself any gold stars by being this way. So Spirit's saying, please look at it. Please stop, okay? It's up to you though, group three. It is up to you. Let's see what we've got here. Happy surprise. There you go. You see what I was saying, you know, when you take a step back, when you make this space in your life, in your energy, in your mind, something wonderful is going to come in and it's a happy surprise. Yay. That's just what you want. You're on the right path. Everything is as it's meant to be. Gosh, those two are kind of saying a similar thing, aren't they? And they've both come out. Blessed connection. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. So, yeah, the happy surprise. This is something waiting to come in for you. But as as I've said already, this isn't going to happen until you take a slow pace or you stop or you have a rest. You know, there needs to be some kind of a positive adjustment. Spirit is saying the adjustment bureau, (laughs) they're putting that film in my mind, the adjustment bureau. Now, that's an interesting film to come in my mind with these two cards. You're on the right path and everything is as it's meant to be. Because in that film, those two main characters, they were trying to they were trying to be together, weren't they? And and the adjustment bureau kept trying to stop them with with um, the plan that you know they had to follow the plan, so they kept having to change things. So I feel that I'm getting the sense that with this, that you know, there's nothing going wrong with work at all. Everything is all right for you. Um, you're not going in the wrong direction or doing the wrong job or anything like that. It's just that you do need to make an adjustment. Uh, where spirit is saying, I'm getting a little bit of a harsh message here, or it's coming through in a stern tone, where spirit is saying, if you do not make the change yourself to slow down and do a little bit less and give a little bit less, then something will happen to make you do that okay. And that's not meant as a threat. It's just spirit is coming through quite sternly, as in saying you can't carry on the way that you are doing group three. Please show yourself compassion because something wonderful wants to come in for you, okay? Now, with this everything as it's meant to be, that's come out on top of the... um, this karmic trench card here where spirit is just confirming that what you've been going through, I mentioned earlier, didn't I, about it being a soul contract. This is an experience that your soul wanted you to go through. So it's not that you've done anything wrong in being this way, you know, this is who you are, but it's it's part of your human growth as a person that your soul wanted you to experience at the human level to um bring about this balance um, within you because it, bear with me, I'm just getting a message. It's so there's something to do with something's coming in in the future and spirit is saying you need to be in this place of balance for what's coming in. You need to be at a point where you are able to manage yourself, manage your time and your energy, manage how much you give and how much you receive. OK, so spirit is saying that this lesson needs to be learned. But with, with these two cards, the karmic trench and the cycles card, when I see the cycles card come out, I mean, with that being at the end of 
us a reading. This is showing me that this cycle is due to come to an end, okay? But it is um, something that needs to happen from your part. You know, you need to take the action to make this change. It isn't something that's going to happen by itself. And what's this blessed connection? Spirit. Okay, so Spirit's saying that this behaviour that you have where you do a lot, you give a lot, you're this very generous giving person, Spirit is saying that this is a um, a, a behaviour that's been inherited from either, it, so it's either from your um, ancestors, from your family line, where the, there's people in your family that always work really hard it's like it was ingrained in them to be that way and you've carried that energy forward to be balanced so that's relevant for some of you for others of you I'm getting a completely different message here where there is someone from a past life that is coming into your life once you have learned to balance things, because at the moment, this energy of overgiving, it's stopping you from having balanced relationships. I feel that this might relate to a lot of you, actually, where a lot of you have been in these relationships, these connections that aren't very balanced, where you're always giving more. And spirit saying this is a big cycle that is closing out for you. And it's so that you can start to meet um, people who are more giving towards you but that's never going to happen until you actually learn to, learn to balance this cycle yourself so the message here group three is to be very mindful of your own behavior stop yourself before you keep saying yes to things all the time and yes to people all the time just pause for a moment and think to yourself do I really want to do this? Do I have the energy and the time for it right now? Okay, because Spirit's saying it is time for you to make some time and space for yourself. Okay, do you know what? This must be one of the most popular messages that comes through the readings. It's, it's this reality that we live in though, isn't it, group three? In the Western world in particular, everything is fast paced. And especially in Britain, there is a terrible work-life balance in this country. People are overworked and underpaid and companies use, they, they threaten their, a lot of employees by saying, well, if you don't do this, then we'll sack you. There's plenty more people that will do your job. You know, it's this feeling of not being valued at all. But spirit is saying, value yourself and then others will value you. Because if you've been doing too much and, and working too hard and giving too much, it's because you've got this deep sense of where you don't value yourself enough. Maybe for some of you who are self-employed, if you aren't charging enough, for your services it's because you don't value yourself because you have low self-worth and spirit is saying this is a very deep um, soul contract it's a very deep lesson for you, that you've been going through for a long time and it is time to turn it around and start seeing how much you are worth. I'm not talking about necessarily in monetary terms, but as a human being, as a spiritual being, group three, how do you see yourself? Do you value what you do? Do you see how amazing you are? Do you see that you are so unique and that the world needs you? So these are some big lessons for this group to learn at the moment that all rather that you're, I feel that they're coming to a close and I'm getting the sense for you that this is over the next few months okay Th these lessons are you're kind of taking a big step up where you're doing a lot of learning with this okay and spirit saying these changes need to take place because you need like a um, this new enthusiasm and motivation for your work and that will only t happen when you take a step back okay I'm not going to repeat myself anymore this has been a very clear message in this reading so I really hope it's helped you group three I would love to hear from you in the comments thank you for listening have a lovely day and I'll see you again Hello group four, thank you for joining me in the reading. So I'm going to use some different cards in this reading. I get the sense to do that to the other readings. We're going to have a couple of cards from the Secrets of Wand Wood. One from my deck. And then I think we'll have one from the Star Tarot deck. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see what we've got here. What's next in your career? Change. Do you know what? That's come up in all the readings. How funny is that? Breathe. Number six, strength. That came up in one of the other readings. And the Princess of Cups. And I'm going to get some of these cards as well. So with the strength card, with breathe and change, yeah, I'm getting the sense that you've been doing quite a, a lot of work or you've been going at work for quite a long time. You've just been going, getting on with it, getting your head down, getting, you know, just getting things done. And I feel that there's a different energy coming in. So we've got these fell out, Ace of, uh, Ace of Diamonds, Awakening, Four of Spades, Logic and Solution. We've got 22 padlock, you've got a master number there, and number one, the compass, so you've got two number ones there, and then 22 adds up to four, so you've got some nice number synchronicity going on. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting the sense that for this group, you've been, whatever it is that you, that you do for your work, I feel like you've had some success, you've been doing really well, you've just, um, you've got on with it, you've set your goals, you've achieved them, or you've achieved them to a point, or, you know, partially or getting to that point where you're achieving them, things have been going okay, and it feels like, I think you've been getting a feeling at the moment where you've been wondering, should I make any changes? Should I expand? Should I introduce something new? Um, I'm getting the sense that from the majority of people listening to this reading that either you work for yourself or the job that you do requires you to work on your initiative, you know, where you maybe don't have to answer to anyone too much, where you just get on and you do your tasks and th that you've got re really good at what you're doing, you know your work, you know, it's that kind of an energy where you haven't got anyone breathing down your neck, you're kind of trusted, um, you're either your own boss or you just get on with it, you know, it's that kind of thing that I'm picking up on. So it could be working from home, self-employed or a subcontractor, um, you could even be a boss, you know, it's that kind of thing. Okay. So I think that you're, you know, you've been going really well and I feel that you have reached some goals. Some of you might have had some time off recently, or you might have been on holiday, or you might have just slowed down a little bit with regards to work. And it's, I feel that you might have been asking some questions. I'm getting the sense that you've maybe been thinking about things, thinking about what to do next, if there are any changes that need to be made. And some of you might have been writing down some ideas or wanting to do a to-do list or wanting to make some plans for the next steps, you know, the action that you need to take. And Spirit is saying, yes, this is a good thing. This is something, if you haven't started doing this already, Spirit is, is showing me for you to write stuff down, okay, for you to make some lists or draw up a plan or just brainstorm some ideas, okay? So it involves something to do with either writing down or whatever, if, if you work on a laptop or a tablet, then typing whatever resonates for you, you know? And what I'm getting here with the strength card and the padlock card here, I feel as though they are, the energy here is relating to some skill or knowledge or wisdom that you've got or experience that um, you could use in your work and it's something that you maybe haven't done just yet or you're thinking about doing it or maybe you've thought about doing it in the past and you didn't for whatever reason you might have talked yourself out of it or felt like you weren't good enough or you know any any of those negative self-talk things that go on with us um, so I feel that there's something that has come from the past an idea of a job that you maybe wanted to do or some kind of a project or something to do with work that you thought about doing and you didn't go ahead with it. And Spirit is saying, this is in relation to here what I've been talking about, writing it down, okay? Making a bit of a plan or writing a to-do to list and getting clear with what it is that you want to do. Spirit's saying, write everything down that is going on in your mind. Write everything down that comes in as an intuitive um, prompt, you know? all of it, write it down, Spirit saying, write it all down, because putting it down on paper is going to help you sort out what feels right, don't just hold it inside of you, um, get it out of you, and then you can, because Spirit's saying, as you 
put it to paper or metaphorically speaking, maybe to screen, as you put it down and get it out of you, it will help you to connect with whether it feels right or whether it needs to be tweaked or whether it doesn't feel right, you know, that kind of thing. And I feel that if you can spend some time, um, just take some a little bit of time off an hour or two or however long you know, you've got where you can sit with these new ideas that are coming in or these new thoughts or the return of something from the past. And you can allow your imagination to open up a little bit because spirit is saying to me right now, you're not seeing the biggest picture for yourself at the moment. What you're seeing, your limit, it's like you're limiting yourself. There is something more that you can do or that can come in or that is on the cards for you. And spirit is saying until you actually take the time to just hit the pause button and to do this, um, go through this process of writing stuff down, getting it out of you. Spirit saying you will um, it's like you'll miss something and spirit saying for you, if you can sit still, you know, go into the quiet to do this, that makes it easier for your guides to put ideas in your mind and to help you with this situation so that you can open up your imagination a little bit more and to realize, um, like, how you can branch out or how you can do something a little bit differently or a little bit better, you know, or, if what changes need to be made there's some there is definitely some change that needs to be made in your working life at the moment um if some of you work on projects and that kind of thing spirit saying some brainstorming really needs to happen um some of you could even work with vision boards or draw up some kind of um uh is it called a mind bubble or something? There are all kinds of buzzwords for these things. That I don't know, I'm sure. But yeah, the emphasis here is spirit saying, write it down, you know, write it down. OK, I'm going to get a few more cards from this quick message deck just to get some more insight to see what wants to come in. There is a very fast energy here. But then it feels like it's slowing down. And I feel that relates to some ideas that want to come in. It's like when you just when you give yourself this time and space, I feel like, you know, some of the ideas have started to come already, but I think there's more to come. And once you give yourself the time and space, then things could come in quite quickly for you. And then it could, you know, there could be a lot going on in your mind that you need to put to paper and then you can figure out the best way forward. Trust yourself, let it go, a wish coming true and go for it. Those are some lovely cards, okay? So trust yourself, yeah. I feel that there is something to do with, as I've mentioned it already, Maybe there's something that you've thought of in the past for, for a few of you anyway that you wanted to do, but you didn't trust yourself enough to do it. You didn't trust in your abilities and spirit saying you have got this and you can do it. We've got the go for it card there, haven't we? Um, this is it's like you've been um, this is something that you've been working towards, maybe not in the same area that is is this thing. But spirit saying you've been getting ready for it. You've been getting yourself ready for it. OK, what you've been doing, even if it's in a different area of work and the let it go card. So the, the message that I'm getting here the, with all of these cards, with the breathe and the four of spades, this is about using your logical, rational mind. OK, and spirit is saying when you feel any anxiety or fear or worry around what it is that you really want to do, get grounded and look at the situation analytically or logically and ask yourself, is there really any need to have that reaction? Does it make any sense to have that reaction? You know, really question yourself and breathe. OK, let it go. Whatever it is that you're worrying about, breathe, let it go. Spirit saying, stay calm. Don't let your fear overwhelm you. Don't let it control you and don't let it stop you from doing whatever this amazing change is, whatever this new thing is in your career. Don't let your fear stop you from taking these steps because it is going to lead you to somewhere absolutely amazing that you can't even see just yet. I mean, look at that. We've got the wish coming true card and the number 22 on this padlock card. 22 is a very big master number. It relates to the world. It relates to 
um, being a master at something. So there's something that you could bring in here that could really help people in some way, okay? Or it could merely really make a difference to the way that people live their lives, or it could, it, you know, it could just have a very positive impact in our reality or on the collective. And it's something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. You might have forgotten about it. You might not have thought about it in a very long time. You might even have just thought about it when you were a child and knocked it out of your mind because you thought that that was never going to be possible. But this is something that is coming in for you that is actually destined for you. Group four, okay. So go for it. Look, we've got go for it. That's on top of the compass card here, which is to do with your life purpose and about you facing your true north and moving in the right direction. What it is that you're moving into here, it is meant for you. It's something that your soul wanted you to achieve while you were here. This is a big thing and it's going to bring some wonderful things into your life. This lovely princess of cups here. I'm seeing these fish, like these flying fish that become this white dove and then we've got the crescent moon this is like giving me this sense of abundance and plenty and lots of positive feelings like inner contentment and inner peace and joy and fulfillment so this thing that it is that you want to move into or that you've been thinking about this is going to bring in some very wonderful things for you abundance in all kinds of forms okay and that includes financial and wealth and recognition if that relates to what you're doing like positive feedback from other people, compliments, that kind of thing, you know, where you're really going to feel very uplifted and fulfilled by what it is that you do. And it's that feeling of, wow, I feel like I'm really making a difference, but this is also filling me with joy. It's like finding your thing in life, you know, that is what is coming in for you next. OK, spirit is saying you're getting a taste of it at the moment, but this is going to be a process that you go through. And they're just saying the, the time scale is a little bit different for each of you. For some of you, it's kind of the ball has started to roll already and changes will take place in the next few weeks. For others of you, this is going to be a few months, but for a few of you, it's going to take a little bit longer than a few months. I don't see it going outside of a year, but it depends what changes need to take place because there might be one or two of you that feel like you need to learn something as well. But Spirit's saying, really, it's not that you need to learn something. It's more that you're unlocking skills that you've already got that you maybe haven't trusted yourself with yet. So it's about you needing to tap into your your inner confidence and to trust yourself and have faith in yourself that you can actually do what it is that you want to do. Okay, group four, I really hope that reading has helped you. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you for listening. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you again.